of this guy in jail. Yeah. And he's in jail. Horrible phone. Like, the phone barely works. Obviously, he's in jail. But, like, he's, like, showing videos and he's, like, playing, like, fuck the police. Like, through the, <laughs> like that's his TikTok sound that he's using. And it's, like, the saddest fucking thing. And, like, everyone in the comments is, like, st- like we're going to get you out of there, dude. We're going to, like, uh, like we don't even know what this guy did. Right. But everyone's, like, man, we feel, like, this guy could have murdered, like, 15 people. But we're just, like, we got to get him out of there. Yeah. So everyone feels bad for him. And and he keeps he's made six TikToks already, and his whole thing is he's begging people to get him to like a thousand or five thousand followers, because then you can start going live, mm-hmm. and then I think you can start accepting donations. Yeah. So like he's like oh he's God. like all about like he's like come on give me to six thousand followers so I can go live, and like it's just so crazy. This dude's fucking straight up in jail. Wait, how do you have a account? phone in jail? What? Why are you just a smuggle cell phone it? in jail? You yeah, are you crazy? It. You just you pay a guard off and you get. I've a, never heard of that before. Oh my god! Crazy. Yeah, bro, people do that all the time. People sneak shit into jail. All yeah, the time. they. Yeah, I'm sure, but like a fucking phone is pretty crazy to have in jail. Yeah, but it's just like it's guards. Like oh. it's like it's you just pay a guard fucking whatever hundred bucks and he sneaks the phone in. It's a pretty good deal for a guard. Mm-hmm. It's like you're already fucking stuck in jail. I'd say one of my biggest fears is to be in jail. It is pretty horrible, but like is is isn't it fucking so crazy how you can just go to like. Not you can just go to jail, like you just accidentally wind up there. But it's crazy how like other humans will go, whoa, what you just fucking did? You mm-hmm. have to go in time out from the real world for four or five years. Uh-huh. Like that's such a bizarre thing to me. And like how like there's like driving by a jail is the craziest thing. How like you're on the highway and you're yes, like, yes, I know exactly mm-hmm. what you mean. And like, like there's dudes in there. There's dudes in there and, they, there and they've been there they for years. Leave. Yeah. And all they do is they just see the surroundings around them as if it was a green screen and everybody else is just driving by and like yeah. they'll never be able to climb the mountain that they see or like go on the highway. They're just stuck in that jail cell. It's such a And the, and the other thing I always think about too is like even if you get out when you're like 50 like just like all that lost time. Right. Like your 20s and 30s gone. Right, but if you're out when you're 50, you really did something fucking bad, right? Unless it's like some bullshit thing maybe, like Maybe or you, maybe it's a drug charge. Yeah, maybe you got caught with marijuana. Weed. Yeah. Yeah, that is bullshit. That's kind of fucked up. But the, the the thing that like is like I'm confused about is like I don't know, like you know how there's like I don't know if it's Sweden or Switzerland or where, but like the jails there are like fucking summer camps. Right. Like yeah. they believe in like like you can't even go to jail there oh, for what? any crime over like 13 or 20 years. There's there, there's some sort of rule where you can't spend there's no life sentences for sure. Murder the most you can get is 19 years. Remember we watched it together? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know <laughs> if it's 19 years. I don't know what it is. But yeah, you can kill you can do whatever you want. It's the max is 19 years because they rehabilitate everybody and they believe that everybody gets a second chance and yeah. this whole thing. The repeat offenders, the, those rates are a lot lower than anywhere else yeah. because of, I guess, just how they work their prison systems. And like, there's no like, they're not, no, nobody's, nobody's in a cage. They're like in literal rooms that have like TVs and uh-huh. like nice sinks and like everything's they look clean. like hospitals. It looks like exactly <laughs> like hospitals. Yeah. And like, so I don't know, like, is that the way to do it? Or the one like- scene that was interesting in the doc was there was like five guys all living together in this really, really nice prison. And like two of them like were like robbers, but they were like right next to the murderer. Right. And they were like all talking to him. And he no, was the like, craziest part about the doc we watched was the 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 woman prison guard. She was she was just like hanging out with the prisoners. Right. In like this common area yeah. where one guy was like working a, a stone like a, an oven and like he was microwaving his food yeah. and it was like five of them hanging out and it's the like guard the office, was basically. yeah and the guard <laughs> was just sitting on the couch with them just talking. Can I just jump in? Yeah. Can I just, can Mr. I just... My teacher, Mr. Killinger, is here. He's actually he's been in jail, so you have some things to say. David's trying to get his GED, so he's brought Killinger here for good. <laughs> no, yeah, just in terms of where this conversation's going, I mean, that's that's the punishment should be that you're removed from society. Right. And that's it. Anything worse in terms of like like when you've seen inside of prisons how terrible the conditions are, it's like that shouldn't be an additional punishment. Like you are removed from society, you're in like a prison area. But then, you know, and then you can be rehabilitated, you get educated and like, right. you know, counseling and stuff. And then you come out as opposed to, yeah, in the United States, it's like, yeah, we're going to remove you and you're going to be in a tiny cell and it's going to be with a bunch of other people. We're not going to educate you on anything. You're going to potentially get raped in the shower. Like it's, it's, and you're gonna it's terrible there. here. Right. Yeah, exactly. And then, well, so another, <laughs> not, not to get on like my uh, high horse here or like a soapbox <laughs> or whatever, but like. But part of it is that in the United States, a lot of prisons are run privately, like they're corporations. And so they are, all they want is for 
people to come back into prison. Bro, this is too much knowledge for our <laughs> podcast here. We like is this not how things light. normally go here? We like to keep it light, Killing. Gotcha. Well, I've got a light. I've never even heard the word corporations before. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I mean, yeah, they're businesses. So the, the right. way they make money is to have more prisoners. And okay. so they're like, we're not going to educate you. We're not going to get you and counseling. We want you right back. Even minimum wage. Right. right. I agree with what you're saying. Like, I think that's like a better way to like rehabilitate somebody. But to play devil's advocate, let's say you're mother was brutally murdered by somebody like would you have would you be like send him to this summer camp or he or would you be like fucking have this guy rot in this prison i i completely understand that perspective but like you've got to take yourself out of it yeah you've got to take emotion out of it like of course if somebody yeah if somebody killed my mom i would you want, stab him with my bare hands but like right. but that's why it's not up with your bare hands like you yeah, use your just, middle I would, finger i would just yeah just, just jab, jab him, him. <laughs> just enough times just like one of these like sharp motions like this and i would you just, just wouldn't cut your nails for a while right exactly that would be my my mother <laughs> exactly you'd be so confused getting stabbed by my right. fingernails no okay i know what you mean so i guess you you got you can't be biased in that way and right right yeah exactly okay. if i mean if we uh punish people based on like the feelings of the victims and their families then it's like everybody would be the whole world <laughs> like, it would blind. be terrible right and, yeah exactly. and eye for an eye makes the whole world blind exactly right okay i guess that makes sense if you ever thought about it, you get into a situation where it looks like you murdered them but you didn't you're innocent Oh my god! And then you have to like move to Oklahoma and completely start a new life. And like, what would you do? Like, I, I would do that. I would never ever try to go to jail. I'd be like, I'm gone. Like, if you're wrongfully convicted, or you're like you were about yeah. to be, and you still have the chance to like escape and yeah, leave. Yeah, if you had a chance to go and get a new identity, and you go to like a small town and I totally leave. Yeah, I'd pull fucking so much cash out, and I just leave. I just leave. I would never, I'd never, never come back. What would your uh, new alias be? Albert. <laughs> Albert what? Einstein. Dobrik. <laughs> hey chief look at this this guy's got the same last name as the guy we're looking for but a different first name albert dobrik i think more suspicious would be if i was albert einstein yeah that would be hey chief is there an albert einstein <laughs> that you know about uh, is a george clooney living in oklahoma <laughs> we were just watching an episode of curb your enthusiasm oh, that's my favorite show they're shooting they the new season right now are they really? Oh, yeah, that's right. No, we did see that. Are they? But do you remember the one where they go to Dodger Stadium where he takes the prostitute yep. to Dodger Stadium? Yep. So um, in that episode, so funny. there that's was a guy sentence. Wow. There was a guy who was, I think, on trial for murder or the, the cops. Wait, do were, you know why he takes the prostitute? No. So he can oh, use right. he can use the, um, the HOV lane. <laughs> oh, Because he, he's, so... he's going to be late for the game and, and a prostitute's like, hey, baby. And he's like, get get in the car. We're we're going to the Dodgers game, so I can take the pretty funny. Carpool so you can lane. beat the traffic. Oh, so right. just very the carpooling. That is really funny. Very Larry thing to do. Yeah, that's so clever. That's fuck. That's really <laughs> funny. The best. I tried to show these guys Kirby enthusiasm once, and like they, I didn't give enough of. The it. I didn't they give... liked it. it was not just these guys. Like Zane was here, and they liked it. They only laughed like three times. It's it's the best. We I, I think we've been through. The but maybe whole you have to watch like more times. of it. Yeah, yeah. But in so in that episode, there was somebody who was um, like on trial for murder or the, the cops had just picked him up or thought he was guilty of killing somebody. And he got off because at the time of the murder, they were shooting that episode. And he and he's in the video, like in the TV show. Oh, he's like, I've heard of this. Right. Wait, what happened? The, he was so, one of the some, extras. Some random, yeah, some extra. He was one of the extras in the Dodger Stadium. Like in the, in the actual show, he was one of the extras. And that was his alibi for why he wasn't at the crime. Right. <gasps> because he was shooting Curb oh, Your wow. Enthusiasm. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So great. Wow, that's really funny. That's why we. That's why I do the vlogs, Jay. So whatever crime. I know. Or why I used to do the vlogs. <laughs> so yeah, the last year we're fucked if anything bad happens. Yeah, fuck. Where were you? Uh... <laughs> I was shooting with Dave. No, you, no, you weren't. You weren't. <laughs>